Welcome to the Connecting Cookville podcast, where we spotlight business owners, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and local influencers. It's our hope that this podcast enables you to feel the pulse of what makes our community great. Hey, Cookville, it's good to have you back. Welcome to the Connecting Cookville podcast this week. I am your host, Amber Flynn Jared, and this is episode 37. Mm. Joining me as always, Wait my killer co-host. Killer. Zach I knew you were gonna do, uh, knew, yeah, there's always a pun. There's always a pun, she's very punny. She's so, and so You are punny. So this week, the pun is killer. I knew you were gonna use killer. You did? Yeah, I, was, I thought you were gonna say killing it. You're killing my it. My co-host, co-host cool then? <laughs> I'm German. I didn't know if you knew. Wagner, it's German. Nein! Hein! Hein! Okay, no, nope. Um, so, so you, this is very exciting. This we are is off, super, we're off premise. Super yes! We're not at Studio... Uh, 806. 806. Right. We're not at that Studio awesome. 806, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. We are off-site yes. at the Calf Killer Brewery. Absolutely. Calf Killer Brewing Company right here. We're in like Sparta-ish. Yeah. yeah, it's like Sparta-ish. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, that's our, that's our uh, off, address. Off the banks of the old calf killer here. Yeah, where we are. Super high. Calf killer was yeah. like, oh, yeah. come to play today. So we have oh, yeah. Dave and Don Sergio. Thank you guys. Oh, you guys are you all. like, you. what the heck? This we're is the coolest s- podcast we've ever done. Oh, I know. I mean, so nobody else has brought us beers, so. No, so far, no. We've, mm-hmm. There's more to be had. We've yeah, been, we've, you have a we've, little bit. We did, someone did give us steak one time, but, but I mean, it's like, meh, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, it's, I mean, yeah. it was steak good. Steak I'm just kidding, McD. Steak was delicious. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was good. It was really it was delicious. Good. But the next it, time is just to do them together. Right. The steak I like podcast what, and the beer podcast. Yeah, that would make, it makes sense to me. I see yeah. what you're doing. So, yeah. Perfect. So, thank you guys for real for taking time to do this. Super, you. I know you a lot going on, like, and we'll talk about all that. Oh, how my goodness. Happened. Yes. Uh, but, yeah. So, tell us, like, I guess just dive in and give us, like, the Cliff Notes version of of like how, how we can the heck be. this even is. Yeah. Well, well, and really kind of, you know, introduce yourself to the four people listening that have that aren't familiar. That maybe live under right. a rock. You know, the, with gotcha. the Sergio clan and Calf Killer and, and all that journey. How do you get to the Upper Cumberland? Yeah. Right. You know, all of all, all of that. that beginning the genesis all those things. the genesis that is you. Yes. You guys may not have a chance to talk for a while. That's fine. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Actually, that's what we're here for. Right, right. Let our, our this works. Oh, that shit. Works. We're about to, we're about to do this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, first of all, uh, my name is Don Sergio and I'm Dave Sergio heck yeah and together we make up the team that make up the calf killer uh, beer uh, what would you call it head empire years. is what I would call it empire yeah. empire yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah. a lot more in the universe but mm-hmm. I guess yeah we're like kind of the larger planets in the universe you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah absolutely so yeah. orbiting, and, uh, yeah. like orbiting the, the beer <laughs> what, what about oh, Uranus <laughs> the moons of Uranus oh okay I got Fine. it okay. right <laughs> his anus <laughs> whoever I don't know I love it. I, love I, love, I like it too. It's good. It's good. That's good. So, okay. I How do we get here? Who am I? And why am I here? <laughs> so remember, old, dig deep in you, your soul. you remember old James Stockdale? No. Oh, dude. James Stockdale, Stockdale? was running. He was the. Uh, he was Ross Perot's vice president. Ross Perot's vice president. Oh. It wouldn't be prudent out of this juncture or all yeah. that? No, not no, that guy. George that was Bush. George H.W. Uh, Bush. Yeah, or H.W. But Ross Perot wants to get under the hood. Ross Perot, what was his quote? His quote was. No new You gotta get under the hood. That kind of thing. You gotta work on it, you know, whatever. I think you're so like in James Stockdale. Oh, no, I mean, we're way off base, and that's what we, Dave and I generally do. Uh, Same. Way off James base Stockdale says, says, "Who am I, and why am I here?" Everybody that's said, like his thing. Question. Oh yeah, that's wow. his thing. That's how he introduced himself at the debate. So we're like, "Who am I, and why am I here?" I like you. Yeah, already. But either way, uh, <laughs> regardless of that, Dave and I come. We're the youngest of six kids. Wow. Uh, yeah. In a Catholic family, a large Catholic mm-hmm. family that moved to Tennessee in 1980. Believe it or not, Dave was two. I was five. Okay. Uh, we were. We grew up in a family that of Midwesterners okay. that actually love beer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we grew up in a beer culture. Like Midwesterners, as in Wisconsin. Yeah. Hey, you betcha. Okay. Like go pack go. <laughs> go pack go. That's horrible. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you did a pretty good job there. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting more Minnesotan all the time. <laughs> oh, <that's> oh shit. <laughs> anyway, close enough. Close enough. Close enough. We're gonna do that. Midwest. Talk. I said Midwest. Midwest. Yeah. Let's yeah. cover that shit. Okay. So, anyways, so Dave and I are the youngest of uh, of many kids. Yes. And uh, in f- just a quick aside, <laughs> when we would go up to visit our cousins in Wisconsin. My dad, imagine having six kids and mom and dad in a van with all the suitcases and shit you need to pack to go up and stay <laughs> mm-hmm. for a week. Yeah, mm-hmm. by the river. Yeah. And uh, dad says, pack light because we've got to bring home some beer. Y'all. Whoa. 
Oh, the yeah. real deal. Oh, that's the real deal. Yeah. And uh, I mean, let's face it, the beer taxes around uh, in Tennessee are ridiculous. Really, yeah. And even back then, it was much cheaper to buy a case of Miller products yeah. in Wisconsin than and bring it, it across state lines. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's wow. go. That's what you got to do. But we literally, he'd bring it across 30 exporters. cases. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I would sleep and, on it on the way home. Yeah. Perfect. Because I was the youngest. Cover, you could build it I was the youngest, so I was like, yeah, I was sleeping on top of the cases. Craft it around, craft it around your. Little did we know. Yeah. So that's kind of the where we we restart genesis exactly the genesis <laughs> and from there uh, we'll blast forward probably let's go to two thousand and one Dave all right shall we well like seventeen Donna years I, ago yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Seven, yeah, 17. holy crap, it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Don and I were construction workers. We uh, we worked for our family construction business. Yeah. And we were just two guys that, you know, we loved beer and things like that. And we kind of had this idea to where maybe we should go through, and if we couldn't find the beers that we wanted to drink around here, it's like right. maybe we should just try to make them it's ourselves. Like make them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we went through and we started doing some stuff on a stovetop, kind of getting some ideas together, and then it just kind of blossomed from there of going through. And then we, you know, from trying a couple all grain or like uh, like extract batches. So you kind of right. dump in just the syrup into water. Mm -hmm. You boil it, ferment it. Hey, there it goes. You know, you have beer after a week or so. Gotcha. Okay. Um, wow. So then it started going through into like where we would start to build things that we would call implements of doom to Love start it. to make our own like beer to create our own recipes with grains and different things like that to be able to, to make the extracts ourselves mm -hmm. and then go through and just to kind of build it up through a, like an, an all grain brewing process. Uh -huh. So um, 2001 started that and then it kind of started seeing us going through uh, this development of developing recipes and working with ingredients and kind of trying out things and just trying to create beers the way that we were taught to cook. Right. It's like, hey, we're going to take this and take that. We're going to throw it in there. And whatever's it's local what and seasonal yeah. and it's whatever's in, crazy. in time, mm -hmm. we're going to take it. We're going to make beer out of it. So um, by 2003, um, we were doing a little bit of beer, uh, fermenting some things uh, in a house and that Don was is, renting. This is sort of really before craft beers oh, yeah. before it was like were, you well, know, totally. the, the all the rage. It's kind of, so. it's kind of after, uh, it's kind of in between. So there was a, in the early, early to mid nineties, the there was kind of a, a scene to where, you know, craft beer started really coming back in the early eighties. Mm -hmm. So you would see oh. like, you know, Sierra Nevada opened in 1980. Uh, mm -hmm. So you'd see right, things right. like that kind of starting to come through. And so there was not a whole lot of breweries. I mean, cause you'd think that up until, you know, before prohibition, there was like, 3,000 breweries in the United States. Mm. Wow. So after Prohibition, there was like 17. Yeah. Jeez. So then when you get into the early 80s, there was like under 100 still. Mm -hmm. And so you have what? these guys starting, yeah, so yeah, 80, it's crazy. 83 it's crazy. breweries. So you started going through and seeing things. To, uh, it took forever yeah. to like actually eclipse the amount of breweries. Yeah, thousands to hundreds. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's and like you had that. It wasn't until Dave and I were on the, uh, we were still in the percentile that was pre-prohibition numbers. Like we were like the twenty mm -hmm. one hundredth brewery in, in America. Now there's like eight thousand. Wow. So yeah, yeah. that's a. Wow. It was pretty crazy. That's so insane. so yeah. So it was kind of in between because then you had in the uh, that was starting to grow, and then you had kind of a, a scene that happened somewhere in the early nineties mm -hmm. to mid nineties where people were going through and they were opening brew pubs and they're opening breweries mm -hmm. and they were trying to go through mm -hmm. and they were just producing basically just kind of crap beer. Yeah. Right. So it's like, hey, we're gonna go through. There's gonna be these five recipes that we're gonna go through, and everybody's gonna make these five recipes. You're gonna have a a blonde. Uh, mm -hmm. pale ale. A, a pale ale, stout. a Hefeweizen, you're going to have a stout, you're going to have, you know, things like that. And so you're going to have mm -hmm. these things and these people are going to pop up because they're trying to make money at it. Yeah. Because it's they see really that this craft right. beer thing is yeah. going to go through it's and it may be this thing. So you had a bunch of breweries open and then a bunch of them just go and just yeah. fold. Yeah. Because nobody was like making good beer. Sure. Right. It was just so, like churning out stuff that's like. Yeah. And so it's like, it's literally, it's like yeah. going through and just, hey, we're going to throw through. probably a few, but. Well, I'm sh there was. There but the things is, is the ones that weren't good they folded. Mm -hmm. The ones that were still good are still Which around. Which is pretty cool. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like you can the see. The, the, mar yeah. you know, the yeah. market yeah. always yeah. does its work. Yeah. I love that. So, the market. It does. It's a great and thing. you can. It's great uh, teacher. It cures against. Uh, yeah. And you can kind of see, I mean, the breweries that are still around are, are now big large breweries mm -hmm. which is cool i mean because so those these guys, guys like like so you mentioned sierra nevada like bells or like some of those yeah, guys. bells around there uh lagunitas okay, um, you can even go to like the shoots okay. i mean you could even see somewhere in like sweetwater kind of came into that point okay. in, yeah. in, the, okay. in the late 90s um and so a lot of these breweries that are now kind of starting to be where they're almost nationwide breweries yeah. now yeah. um were breweries that were started in kind of in that early time period mm -hmm. And so you can kind of see some things going around to where uh, at that point, so it's 2003, um, we're making some beer. Uh, we're starting to get a thing. And so Don and his wife, 
we're looking for a, Kelly, we're looking for a place to, uh, to buy a house. And right. so we'd always kind of cruise through this area as kids because we grew up literally 10 minutes from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Don and Kelly found this little house, man. They found this little place we're sitting in, which was a horse barn that had dirt floors. I mean, this was actually a Pretty solid cool, wall that went through here barn. and it was like where they held the grain. Yeah. Dang. For the for the thing, and so Don and I, with a construction background, a we were able barn. to go through. Oh yeah, it I is. It. Yeah, and it started out as like kind of a homebrewing like darts den. <laughs> you know, we yeah. would throw darts and like darts were here, just like hanging yeah. out. Yeah, and it's uh, it the was girls thing. here too, though. Yeah, of course, they were. So. smart. <laughs> yeah, we so. don't we don't discriminate in our cave. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. But it's uh, um, so we kind of got it into where we could go through and start making some beers in this area, you know, in this little space right here. And mm -hmm. so 2004, we kind of go through. We get. Um, we actually come up with the Capricola Brewing Company name yeah. because we were starting to do parties, weddings, functions, events, and things like that for folks. And so we, figured, we felt that we needed some sort of a name right. to go along with the Make beers. And so Capricola was kind of one of those things to where it kind of came across because of the fact this. that um, it is the river that runs through Sparta. Yes. Uh, it has Iconic. a really cool name. Yeah. Uh, it's very, and we always wanted something because, you know, it's, local you yeah, know it's yeah. small and so we always wanted something that was kind of that was regionally based that people could understand mm -hmm. and go yeah, like identify with hey it. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and so we kind of came up with Kafka the Brewing Company um in 2004 we came up with the logo uh down with here and kind of pencil sketch this cool little calf head and then we gave it to a, a friend oh, of ours who was able to go through and actually computerize it and kind of turn it into the thing that we have now which is the um, coolest logo it it's very absolutely. widely recognizable yes. Yeah. yes thanks man so little, it is mm -hmm. iconic Regional. Oh thing. yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody knows it. I mean, that's what. Yeah. I mean, branding. Your branding is well, phenomenal. I mean, you know, if we everyone, if we yeah. talk about you know kind of taking it you know to that business level. Yeah. I mean, the way that you guys have um, you know permeated your local area, and then all of a sudden you have all these grassroots, no pun intended, right. um, fans. <laughs> you know, you've got all of these little evangelists that are out there. Yeah, you know, spreading the, the word and telling yeah. everybody you got to get this. You got to carry this beer. You got to get yeah. it on tap. That's awesome. You know, because I remember. I remember when, when all of that was kind of going on, that was yeah. probably, yeah. What, what, when would you say that that was? Around 2010, 2010 is when we opened, yeah. Yeah, that's kind wow. of, and so I mean, it was just, people there, were like, like super, fun, like they took it on as their own like cause, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. we're going to get oh, yeah. calfcular and, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. in our, all of our local establishments. And, and then uh, we've been blessed with uh, with that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just, it's awesome. You talk about, like, for anything more. Talk about that, like talk about, okay, you know, going from, you know, we're fast forwarding through all kinds of crazy awesome stuff here, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll rewind in a minute. <laughs> talk about like okay, from the 2001 era to like oh, by the way, we're now in restaurants all over the Upper Cumberland. Like what? Well, and what happened? Beyond. Let's, uh, let's take beyond. it. Where did you leave off, dude? <laughs> uh, I was 2004 when we were doing stuff. Okay. I was about to just jump over and... to 2006. Okay. Okay. So in 2006. Uh, Dave and I got the bright idea that we were going to make a side business of beer. Okay. So we we're going to turn our little horse barn into a, a approximately 60 gallon brewery. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so, in order to do this, there was many uh, government agencies <laughs> that you have to. Uh, <laughs> well, never mind the fact that you live in a dry county. We, that, For sure. Yeah, there's, there's that. Yeah, there's that. Dry yeah but that, that never. The, you, those kinds of things don't enter your mind, really. Right. <laughs> I mean, there was never a time when Dave and I thought, you know what? I don't. I don't think this is going to be possible. You know, what I'm saying there's that was never mm -hmm. it was a thing. Never reached your yeah. mental. Like thing. We're just going like, to do this. Oh, we're going to do this. You yeah, know, what I'm saying so. And we'll figure it out. And we read the laws, and we were going. You know what? I think we can do this. I think yeah. it's legal as it is. Yeah. So we approached the beer board in Sparta, which is the first government uh, hocus pocus, and the beer board, they basically said that we uh, we agreed after the first meeting uh, that we would get the attorney general's opinion, and whatever he said, would be like gold. Okay, and we're like, right. okay, cool. So uh, we get the Attorney General. Dave and I write a letter to the Attorney General. He comes back, he writes us a letter back that says this is how he interprets this uh, Tennessee code annotated, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And um, so we approach the beer board again and show them our paper. And they looked at us, and even though we agreed that we go with his opinion, they said, well, boys, <laughs> that, that's just his opinion. <laughs> so we're like, well, nice. I thought that's what we wanted is his opinion. Right. So uh, anyway, so uh, we had to do the next best thing, which is to sue the city for our beer license. Step two. Okay. So, right. And we did. Okay, following. Right. So there we go. We sue, sue the city. And uh, we got in front of the judge. It took a year and uh, like $2,000 because we, it was going to take a couple hundred dollars and a couple weeks to get our beer license you know for the from the county but yeah it takes a year because we have to get a court date 
and right. a couple thousand because now we have to have a lawyer. Absolutely. So we do that. Yay. And uh, the law, uh, the judge says we get in front of the judge. He's oh yeah, this you can, is okay. This, this is okay. Is, you know, we're like all right. right. So Thank we got sir. that. And uh, so yeah, then another. we're at the federal government, and the federal government we didn't quite. I think they thought we were going to be a brew pub. Okay. But we, it was clearly checked that we were going to be a packaging brewery because okay. we couldn't be a brew pub because we were in a county too small to be a brew pub. Okay. Okay. So. They didn't understand what we were talking about. We didn't understand what they were talking about, but we ended up butting heads. And then uh, we decided, uh, Dave and I were like, you know what? If we can't, um, if we can't have a small, a tiny little brewery in the backyard here, let's just build a bigger one. And so we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? We decided, yeah, yeah. you know what? We're going to we're yeah, going to spend this. the next two and a half years of our lives on nights and weekends. Uh, building what is over there, which mm -hmm. we'll, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's some B-Real of, and uh, we'll show <laughs> yeah. that. And you yes, need, yes. But, uh, you've got to come check this out. It, it is cool. Oh, yeah. Absolutely cool. Plug, plug. Go, go online. And it's 75% yeah. recycled materials, yeah. and that's a that's a pre-Pinterest stuff going on. Here. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's, it's true. like, uh, edge. Now you, once again, it's a, we didn't really mean to, but I think the, the combination of my mom and my dad, you know, my mom's Polish and my dad's a carpenter. You just gotta make it happen. You you, you just, save shit yeah. and build crap and out of stuff like that you have. <laughs> yeah, Love which it. is happens to be trendy now. Yeah, it happens exactly. to be trendy, but Dave and I grew up that way. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like what? what are we yeah, we're, just, we're just following the family well, line. I don't know you know what you're like, wow, that thing over there looks just like what I built last week. Mm -hmm. Man, perfect. Yeah, I paid four hundred dollars. Yeah, it's funny. Me and Kelly <laughs> went to uh, free. Yeah. we went to Black Dog Salvage uh, the other week over in uh, Roanoke, yeah. and. Um, we were uh, we were there, and she was like, "Oh, look at that light fixture." I was like, "Yeah, I got three of those. Four hundred dollars." Yeah, I'm like, "Yeah, I got three of those at home." <laughs> it's awesome. back, but it's, it's just stupid stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. It's so. cool. It's, it's like the most cool place in the world. You, you just feel like you want to stay here all it's, day. It's a bit yes. eclectic. Yeah. It is. It's, 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 it's amazing. Very cool. It's very eclectic. cool. Yeah. The ghoul. Boom. I feel like to say it's kind of just an extension of our personalities. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. You can feel you guys in this place. It's really cool. It's like. Well, and I just think like. Watching... <laughs> For 20 bucks, I'm just kidding. I can literally feel you in this Wait place. Wait a minute. I tried to during did, the mic and you did. You bring, did you bring your schlong? <laughs> I did. It's right here. Right, here. right there. Yeah, right here. Dongle. Dongle. It's a dongle. It's a dongle. All the dongle. Folks watching. That's right. Yeah. Don't get scared. It's really called a dongle. It's all good. It's where audio it really is so much is. better. It really is called a dongle. It's, so it's called a dongle. Yeah, that's weird too. It is. As if that word is. An adapter may be the best. Yeah. I mean, why would you call an adapter a dongle? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag Apple. That's <laughs> Mark Apple. And here we are. We're talking chickens and, and chickens. Uh, absolutely. You know, I guess that's their thing. We came know? up with a new product. It's proprietary. We can't share right. it on the podcast yeah, yes. yet. But we, we we're ready to do that. Well, well, you know, a whole five minutes with you guys, and you can see the yeah. entrepreneurial oh, spirit gosh. that you guys have yeah. is just like constant, nonstop ideas, yeah. thoughts. You know, rolling through. Yeah. Go, 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 and. I mean, I'm sure that you probably have had five million business ideas happen, you know, here within these walls mm -hmm. um, and some that you, you know, actually act on and yeah, then, you know, right some on. that are just fun to, to talk yeah. about. But, you know, the merch, yeah. um, all of the, you just know, the, the branding, it is super fun. Well, I think like, do you ever go home and be like, dude, I had a really bad day at work. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm thinking you, I, if I worked here every day would be a good day. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. The, the, this one lady said uh, one time, she goes, well, I bet you just don't work a day in your life. You know, he says you love it. And, yeah. you know, and that is the that's the misconception about yeah. it is like, though you love mm -hmm. it. Dude, some days are You're like, killing. damn, this is like, this is hard work. This sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, something you I was know? telling someone the other day. I, was talking to I wish Andy. somebody else could do this young, shit. Yeah. <laughs> younger buddy of mine, I was like, hey, you know, he was, he kind of did the bros thing with me for a little while right. and realized like, oh, this is a lot of work. Yeah. Like, so, and then he was like, he came back later, you know, a couple years later, he's like, hey, I realized you weren't trying to be a jerk to me, you know, but like, do owning your own business is harder work. It than, is. It like, actually is. Up well, and, and what is the, the trademark is, of an entrepreneur that, that you will work 100 hours yes. a week for yourself yeah. to avoid having to work 40 hours a week yeah. for someone else? Right. Yeah. Oh, sure. You know, that's 100% yeah. you know, oh, what absolutely. it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah. I know that that's and, uh, for sure. There's great days and there are days that aren't as great. Yeah. But uh, because at life, the end of the yeah. day, it's, it's all good, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, at the end of the day, there's still beer. Yes. It's yeah. like no matter if it's a great day, if it's a great day, or if it's just a, if it's yeah. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. a not so great Matt, day, it's like at the end of the Matt, day, there's... you still got beer over there? Matt's you need some? <laughs> I'm going to get you a J. Henry original Mild Beer. Look at Matt. Got to help Matt out. Okay, so while, while you're pouring beer, this is a really, really great time to talk about how, how do you guys do this? The actual... Mm. 
you know, flavoring and all of, you know, what does it just come from? Hey, I think maybe this and this. Flavoring's a dirty word. Tastes good. Oh, mm. no flavoring. Well, the thing is, it's... <laughs> it's a wordy dirt. <laughs> it's a wordy dirt. We, we don't do we'll that. It's a wordy dirt. It's a wordy dirt. Well, flavor profiles. Uh -huh. So flavor profiles Notes. come from... Notes. Uh, yeah. This leather, it tastes like leather. It's, <laughs> it's like, well, well... It's an oaken hue. Yeah. This leather. An oaken hue. Yeah, it's it's from an oaken note. <laughs> the, the, oaken, the oaken note. It's, it's, <laughs> right. We only write. Right, go Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up now. I'm sorry. Are we it's talking about right, We're talking to Dave. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah we're trying to talk about it. No, and so... Oh, I'll, so I'll, I'll shut up now. There's four ingredients. So beer is four ingredients. It's like, this, the thing is, the basis. You can, you can make beer out of four ingredients, and that's... Water, which water for us is very important because it does come from the Kafkaila River. Yeah. Uh, important thing to know that oftentimes people have no freaking clue. It literally comes from correct. the Kafkaila River. Yeah. Right. So, so the water itself, oh, wow. and that's the thing is, and so um, then there's barley, mm -hmm. and so the barley that uh, that we use is malted, and so malted barley, what it is, it's basically where they pick the barley from the fields. Uh, they put it into big pans of water. They allow it to germinate, mm -hmm. which means it allows the acrospire to, to to start to grow. And as soon as that process starts, then they go through and they drain the pans, put it into a kiln, and they actually dry that. Because what that's uh, what it's done is through the uh, uh, through the process is actually set up the starches in the grain to convert to sugars. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert all those sugars uh, in the mash to uh, or all those starches to sugars by adding hot water. And so hot water is going to convert all that. And so you mm. get this nice kind of sweet barley tea. Then you're gonna go through, you're gonna boil it. Uh, you're going to disinfect it by boiling it. You're going to coagulate proteins and then you're mm. going to utilize hops, which is the third ingredient. And so mm -hmm. hops are beautiful because what the thing is, what they're going to do is they're actually not going, they're going not only going to add flavor, aroma and bitterness to the beer, they're actually going to work as a natural mm -hmm. pr uh, preservative too. And so ah. they go through and so the hops are going to add that either that nice kind of balance to the beer, so with like the J. Henry. Right. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to go through and it's going to um, kind of balance out the sweetness that we would get from the barley sugars. Mm -hmm. So through that, the hops kind of get in there, it kind of balances all that out, and then we go through, and then if you want to go through, like say, like the grassroots, you're going to use hops more okay. to kind of go through and give leave a little bit of that aroma, that flavor, that mm -hmm. kind of like that citrusy kind of floral note yeah. behind yeah. to kind of give a little bit of a different taste. And so, it di uh, excuse me, so at different points you use hops to go through and to do different things mm -hmm. for uh, for the beers themselves. So, so for the people, you know, like I, w I was telling Don earlier, like I'm not really a craft beer connoisseur. It's, right, right. I'm, I'm like kind of a pansy, I guess. When it comes to that. And, and I, I've hear, noticed that about you. Yeah. <laughs> I know you got Tell that. Really, it's, she it's holds a, back a lot. It's okay. <laughs> um, but people say, well, it's too hoppy. Like, yeah. so what yeah. is the, I mean, that's just that strong so flavoring. It, that and it's funny because things. people, uh, people's definition of hoppy. Uh -huh. It's all It's not place. really. No, it's it's just, all, it is. Yeah. It's all over the place. Cause some people go, it's like, oh, I don't like the J. Henry cause it's too hoppy. It's like, well, it's not really, it's not really not. tasting. Yeah. <laughs> you can you know, a little bit of there, but it's not really the so thing. No. Yeah. And so <laughs> I think the thing is, I think people have, have termed the word hoppy with just some sort of thing if they don't. It's, if it's they don't like something about beer. Or positive. Yeah. And yeah, they yeah. don't know how and to... it depends correct. on who they are. They don't know how yep. to quantify it. So yeah, they right. just so go, it's like, oh, I don't like it's too hoppy. It's like, yeah. it's like oh, but I like the grass I like food. it, it's hoppy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> now it's, it's, it's a brown ale. Yeah. 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 So, no. <laughs> you know? Got it. And so the thing is, and so I think the thing, a lot of it, and so that's what we try to do is a lot of times is when we're talking about beers, we try to go through and to kind of give a little bit of tidbits about the beer to people and so mm -hmm. kind of tell them what they're tasting kind of say hey all right, what you're doing here is you're going to get this and this comes from this and kind of mm -hmm. educate them a little bit as they're going yeah. through because with education about it, what you're drinking it actually goes through and you can enjoy a little mm -hmm. bit about more of what you're doing yeah right yeah. so and for us it's fun because you know um like if you're at a beer festival and like we've got a line it's like people are coming through and they're like instead of just going hey here's a brown ale Here's yeah. a pale ale. Here's this. Right, it's like, right. all right, hey, this is this. And we're going to go yeah. through. We're going to explain what we're doing. And so we'll explain what you're tasting. And sure. then people can go through and go, oh. Oh, yeah. I don't no, know why I like this. Well, right. it becomes this. an experience. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's not just a let me chug this down and move right. on to the next sure. tent. But I'm really, like, getting to experience it. And it's, I mean, I'm loving all of these ones that we've tasted. They're <laughs> yeah. super yummy. What's, What's your favorite so far? Mm, I think Farmer Dave's. Farmer Dave's. Ooh. Farmer Dave's, yeah. Yes. And the W's and the four dubs. The four dubs. Yeah. Yeah. Farmer Dave's and the four dubs. <laughs> Sounds and, like a band. And multiple dubs <laughs> added. <afterwards. Right>. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, dubs. wonderful. Hey, everybody, let's welcome to the stage Farmer Dave's and the four dubs. <laughs> yeah. The four yeah. dubs. Perfect. But, but drum and bass. Yeah. So good. <laughs> uh, so at what point, I think we kind of, you know, we went through the story and then we kind of, and then we went back forth. Um, at what point did you guys realize, like, 
holy crap, we're like doing this. It's like a thing. Like yeah. this is a real thing and like we're, you know, we've quit our jobs, but we're like gonna be, like this is Well, that's interesting deal. you say that. Uh, we didn't quit our jobs for a whole year. Yeah. So we stayed, we stayed with, uh, our dad and older brother's uh -huh. construction company for a whole year before we actually quit. Yeah, and, and we young were, entrepreneurs. We've gotten to the this. point where we mm -hmm. had 18 places that had the <laughs> that had the beer on tap, and uh, he's got a pee. It's all right. Yeah, um, see that. We'll let it go. He's, he's gonna, gonna let it go. So Dave, tell well, us um, how was that? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, he doesn't know it. It's awesome. Okay, so here it is. He's probably still mic'd up. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be great. Please tell me you're mic'd up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be, okay. Yeah, okay. I had to check the kettle. We're hoping you go to oh, the potty. Oh, so you can no, hear no, no, you no, pee no. in the bathroom. No, 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 my kettle. My kettle was. My kettle was hot. So we, I had we to digress. Go. Oh, that happens. So you're in 18 places. We're in 18 places. But if you want to, I can. <laughs> no, it's fine. I can't go to the bathroom. I think it would be organic. That's not for It'd be terrible. I guess pee is kind of organic. Although I, I, I have a nervous bladder, so therefore it's so like I'd really, be like, yeah. Sometimes I never knew that about you. Mm. Well, you know, if there's beer, there's beer, there's beer involved, it's like I have less of a nervous bladder. That's right. Yeah. Less of a nervous bladder. Now that most people. Now yeah. Dave has a nervous bladder. <laughs> so now everybody knows. <laughs> All five thousand people are listening. Yeah. It's cool. Okay. It's like so. If you walk behind me in a bar, it's like I'm praying I can be able to pee. So it's like, don't worry, you're not gonna fall out of the bathroom. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry. You were saying. 18, 18 years, man. 18. <laughs> Why am I here? Eight, <laughs> 18 places on tap. Yes. Okay. Which Dave and incredible. I are running around. We're doing, we're working uh, four days a week with uh, Dad and Tom and Jim. Killing mm -hmm. construction. Yep. We go 40 hours a week there. And then we're uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays here at the brewery. Mm -hmm. We're going, we're working at night. In the meantime, Dave just got married like a little bit before we started. Also that. So, yeah. so, you're so a he's busy, got that. And bit. I was married and now I'm working on my third child. Got it. So right. we just got little kids. So you both need on. to like not get divorced at this time. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, be good. And it yeah. is it and does help that our wives love beer. Yes. That is true. So that's and actually if anybody aspires to be a brewer mm -hmm. and yeah. doesn't want to have yeah. a shitty relationship with their wife, yeah. make sure she loves beer before you that's marry her. That's a good point. Her. There you okay. go. Yeah. Or I think Drop it probably do anything. It's like, you know, it's like if you're gonna be a woodworker, it's like make sure that your wife your wife doesn't mind you spending 25 yeah. hours a day, or sure. 25 yeah. hours a day. Yeah, right? absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> in the wood shop. 25 hours a day. There's an 80 song in that. It's so true. Because it's a partnership, right? Yeah, I absolutely. mean, it is. Yeah, 100%, it 100%. They say that know? about marriage. They do. Yeah, right. Only that. But, yeah, I guess, yeah, make sure she loves wood if you're yeah. going to be a woodworker. <laughs> or if you're going to get married. Ah! <laughs> 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 It's three symbols. Three the symbols, Zinga. Right. You got the three symbols. The Zinga. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, anyways, okay. back to anyway. the point. You're sorry. So we're working uh, a lot. Okay, that was the point of this story. Yes, that we're was working the point. a lot. Yes. And so we go through. We Two meet jobs, with. Basically. We meet with Dad at the end of the year, uh, or at the beginning of the next year, whatever. We got to the point where we're like, holy crap, we are. We need to do more of this and more of this. Right. We're, we're screwing everybody. You know what I'm yes. saying? So we decided then to um, meet with our dad and older brothers. And they just seemed to think if we could keep their kegerators full of beer, that we could go do beer full time. Mm -hmm. And so far, we haven't let them We're down. We're like, all right, hey, guys, we, go. we got you. We got this. Mm -hmm. you're, doing, you're doing dad proud. For That's sure. right. Look J, hashtag J Sergio and Sons. Yes, That's right. absolutely. Yeah. Dot com? I don't know. Dot com. I think there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Dot org. Yeah. All the dots. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. So now Calf Killer is in, do you know off the top of your head? 130? Yeah. Just 130. That's that's like places yeah. serving. That's insanity. It's insanity. It's all made right over there. And the crazy thing right. okay. oh, oh, oh. How many delivery guys do you have? Dude, it's just uh, Dave delivers a little bit. Jay Henry's the number one delivery. Sure, sure. Yeah, he's known and, uh, across yeah, the region. Everyone. Like, yeah, when's everyone Jay Henry coming? Yep. Oh, hey, Jay Henry. Henry will be here got one. I got one, and Jay Henry does most of it. So. So you're talking about thrice. Thrice. Guys, now, keep in mind that insane. we did. Uh, Twenty-five percent of everything we make goes to Nashville. To mm -hmm. a distributor shop right. that is not ours. Okay, but still, so we're still delivering seventy five like, percent of our business. Like, you're talking like five people total, right? Like staff yeah. wise. Yeah, five or six. Yeah, killing That's it. That's awesome. It's That's crazy. Incredible. Yeah, I mean, mind talk explosion. about being able to. Yeah. What were you gonna say? Uh, mind explosion. 
Oh, I thought you said I had this my next question. <laughs> no, <laughs> my mind was exploding. Sorry, you, go ahead. My mind was just over here. No, I mean, I'm just thinking about like logistics wise, because yeah. that's mm. another way that small businesses yeah. really hurt themselves yeah. Yeah. is they start getting super busy. And then it's like, let me hire out 42 people. Exactly. And then your bottom line is Yeah, is yeah you're, you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's no money to be made in it. And, and that then you get frustrated because you're working all the time. Right. Like you were saying. Yeah. And then there's no well, money. We were lucky to grow up in the family we grew up in because there yeah. was nothing that we didn't do. As yes. far as that goes, I mean, the, our family business was, you know, you subcontracted out certain things, but there's nothing that just we learn didn't to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And your, so your HR, your marketing, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. doing the books, accounting, yeah, yep. all, all the, the above. Mr. Oh, yeah. Manager, hang on. <laughs> manager speaking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, can I help you? You got to get the low voice at that point. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Managers are. Yeah, you know, wear all yeah. the yeah. hats. All yeah. the hats. All the hats. This is work hat. This here. No, hat. this is not your work hat. No, it's, it's a delivery it's hat. It's delivery hat. hat. Yeah. Work ish hat. Well, it's my work. <laughs> yes. It's your work ish hat. No, work actually, hat. I love this hat. I wouldn't sell it for $10,000. Really? Yeah. I'll give you $10,000 right now. Nope. Okay, fine. See, it works. <laughs> there he, it is. He's being real. Yep. Now, this is uh, this is absolutely uh, our one of our employees makes this hat. What? Really? I'm not even kidding you. Like with their bare hands? With their bare hands, with sheepskin and stuff. And uh, there's That's more legit. of with where that came hands. from. Wow, wow I love it. I'm not even mad at that. That's Ooh, pretty awesome. That There's is some over cool. there. I've never seen you without a hat also. That's really? So yeah, it's the defining moment of my life. Yeah, like you literally I've never seen you without a hat. It's a bunch of great. Well yeah, I have. Just kidding. Yeah, I have. One time. Oh yeah? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe two. <laughs> there was that one do you remember that one time? Yeah, remember when we were neighbors at yeah. a uh, festival? Yes. Now that's the time I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you were non hat. I think you're sans hat. I was. I took yeah. my hat off. It was hot. And it was like my hair was out like yeah. it was like this. It's long. Awesome. Yeah. I was yeah, anyway. hanging out with Gary, <laughs> serving beer and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah Gary. He was super cool. Yeah, he's so Gary's guy. one of the crew? Is that yeah, a, oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's absolutely. been, he's probably the oldest one of the crew besides Jay Henry. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. yeah he's cool. been here for a long <laughs> time. So, okay, advice. Like if you, if a young entrepreneur or old entrepreneur is sitting Whatever. in front of you. Right. I didn't look at you when I said old. I didn't. Thanks. I wasn't it's what fine. I was Thanks. doing. I'm your age. Yeah, so, okay. Don't worry. So, what advice would you give you like a, a young entrepreneur or an, an entrepreneur getting started or like thinking like, oh, I, I make, make a business out of my thing right now. What would you guys say like hmm. to that? I would say individual. get ready to work your bag off. Right. Bag. Bag. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. kept it. Because it's, it's no joke. Like you're, yeah. you're going to work a lot. Oh, there's like, gonna, you're going to yeah. work a lot and you, you just can't complain. You always have to be positive. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, you know, well, that's one thing I think the, um, that you guys radiate that you know good yeah, attitude yeah, that is just like good you know yeah. super. I don't know. It's like infectious. It is. You know, yeah. it's contagious. Like yeah. you can't come in here. That's I why told I you said that. On the that. Way down. Like, he did. You're going he to have did. fun. Like He's you like, may this know. This is going like, to be incredible. I don't care who you are. You're going to come. In, you're going to have fun. Or yeah. maybe you don't have a pulse. Or, or I don't know. I don't know. That's yeah. like I said. Could be bad. Yep. She's good. She's got a pulse. Got she's it. good. And she's having fun. She's doing. So see, case in point. Okay. But. Okay, so um, what else? We always ask our guests. Um, sounds like children are. Sorry. Yeah, we got children. All the yeah, Sergio clan. They're, they're growing cool. up. That's cool. I, I'd like it. to know what that's like one day. Having kids? <laughs> yeah, so have some kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. You can probably teach a couple classes. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Sometimes it's fine. It's fine. Your litter. <laughs> anyway, fine. mentors. 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 Mentor, yeah. Who are your mentors? Like who, uh, hmm. who like now and or earlier, who are your mentors? People who poured into well, you. Who are you mentoring? You know, people that kind of kept you going when you yeah. huh. struggled. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, Dave, do you want, do you want, do you got any mentors? I got, we got some definite influences. I would of, say probably just on context wise, I think just like, I think probably our family. Yeah, yeah. sure. Like yeah. our dad, our mom and dad, uh, and actually our whole family is just like, yeah, everybody. they're ridiculous, man. It's yeah. like, yeah. it's uh, it's probably one of the biggest uh, influences on us. Yeah. Um, I would have to say probably business wise, beer wise, People that I know, I would, uh, I'd honestly have to say probably Linus Hall from Yazoo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, probably right. just the way that he uh, has been able to grow his business and yeah. just kind of, uh, yeah. which will, that's it's a completely different model. Sure. But it started out kind of similar, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's mm -hmm. like kind of thing where it's like, he's always been at the forefront of what he's doing and he's right. always very hands-on, not afraid to, I mean, literally I think every time Dude. I show up, at the, every time I stop by to see him, it's like he's, 
arm like he's elbow deep in grease yeah. like mm -hmm. fixing a boiler or doing something yeah. because he's yeah. like he's there and hands he's on legit yeah and i think that's something that uh that a lot uh can be said a lot for um yeah because there, there's not a whole lot of people that are able a to operate that way right or uh b that will want yeah. to yeah. yeah 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 and uh that's a cool trait it's pretty cool and, you're, and like you mentioned your family your dad's like you know he was an entrepreneur. I mean, he had oh, yeah. a mm -hmm. construction company and yep. sure. starting his own business, like went through all that. So it's yeah. like, hey, that's a pretty shining example. Of I like, think everybody, oh. I think everybody in our family, like, because we have a. Um, yeah, your brothers and sisters, are they like entrepreneurs? My, well, it's, uh, two, our, both of our brothers, they have the construction company. Right. My, yeah. uh, one of our sisters works with the construction company, okay. so she's there with them too. Mm -hmm. And then we have another sister that lives in Arizona, and her and her husband, they're uh, civil engineers, and they have their own civil engineering firm. Yeah, so it's like... Awesome. So it's one of these things where yeah. it's like, it's kind of those yeah. things where I think, uh, I think, I mean, it's really, it's mom well, and dad. Well, you watched kind of, it. You watched it growing up, exactly. and it just was something, yeah. it was just know, completely organic, yeah, and right. it's like, a, this is how you live life, it's like you support your family. Yeah. Yeah, Looks so. good to me. That's what we'll exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Cool. I, I remember being in ninth grade and asking. They went around the class asking, "What are you gonna be when you grow up? You know, what do you want to do?" And everybody was like, "Yeah, this and that." And, and oh, you know, yeah. I just know. Yeah. I was like, you know, I don't know what I want to do, but I I don't want to work for anybody. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Shazam! Yeah. Shazam! You did it. Here we go. And here you are. Yeah. yeah who funny. knew? That's, That's great. So, cool. so what what's on the horizon for Calf Killer? What can people expect? You know, from this you is uh, this is a, the coolest part of the whole thing and it's actually the oldest part of the whole thing because Dave and I have uh, for the longest time we always wanted to have a restaurant that was actually the first goal really yeah it was but we couldn't do it so we were like well because it was a dry county forget yeah. yeah it was a dry county so and uh, other it was too small too yeah yeah, yeah. so we the always wanted to have this small. place where people gather uh, we always dreamed in the old days and it's still gonna happen but it's like it's something you dream that you have this uh, room the space where mm -hmm. people can learn things too mm. as far as uh, you know just Maybe there's one history night every week, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Where you get a professor to come and drink for free and, and teach some history as long as, I mean, he's not, you know, teaching from some weird book. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, approved history class. Yeah, for, calf, killer. calf killer approved history class. <laughs> actual yeah, yeah, actual, actual stuff history. that happened, you know? That's what you could call it. It's like <laughs> calf killer's night of actual, actual history. history yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. There you go. There you so go. Uh, just fun stuff like that. But we want to have a place where people can gather. We want to bring people back to Sparta. We want mm -hmm. to, uh, we've got, we just purchased 13 acres down the road that's nice. on the calf killer river, which is 900 foot Let's of river go. frontage. We're going to have our dream of uh, launching kayaks and canoes. From yes. the from the brewery, that uh, sounds proper. horrible. That's terrible. <laughs> it is absolutely terrible. Gosh. But wait, it really gets awful. better. I'm never coming. That's <laughs> terrible. It gets better. So on this property, we'll also have uh, some kind of rustic camping type things. Mm. Not like total rustic camping, but like maybe like some yurts. Some, some yurts. Yurts. Since you know what that stands for, right? Yeah. Did you know that it stands the, for the something? The Y U R T. Yeah, Y E R T. Like yeah. if you guys, do you guys know the stands? I don't for know. No, no, no yurts. It's a stands. It's a real thing. Yeah, it stands for Y U R. No. Yes. Entering redneck territory. No, that's no. awesome. But that's the no? Sparta yurt. Yeah, Sparta this, is, yurt. this is why you. But yurts are why you are T, and so oh, that's our actually that's what I was like not talking about. Those are, are you picking on Spartans? <laughs> no, I'll take you to this is that. Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I've lived in Sparta this for Martha. almost forty years, and I've never heard this that you're Martha. Entering, you're entering redneck territory. <laughs> I don't, that's okay. a Cookville thing. See? No, oh, no, a Spartan it told it me this. Oh, really? Yeah, Spartan told me this. Mm. Chris Howard told me that. I'll have to work yeah, on that. Really? Chris Howard? Chris Howard. Yeah. I can't believe you, you told me something like that. Chris, know, yeah. Shout it's out, Chris. It's a giant beard. Mm. It's really giant. It makes me feel like a listen man. Anyway, <laughs> so like, you're, but no, no. Okay, so a yurt is launching. We're, we're saying yeah, like Because it's like, it'd be fun to have like the Sparta yurts as in Sparta. So mm -hmm. it's like you have these How Y, these the y URTs that are like, Yeah, we'll spell it the right way though with the E. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, for you sure. Got it. Yeah, you got right, it. and everybody will come over and go, well, you know that you're just actually spelled with you. And we'll be like, you know, hey, dude, it's actually spelled here. with an E. Oh. Come on now. Yeah. Let's go. Get your shit together and go get up here. It's um, Hawk <laughs> County. Hawk <laughs> County. <laughs> so back to the plan, anyway, though. Anyway, you're saying. Dave and I, uh, we're going to build this bigger brewery. Just a little bit bigger. We don't want to go out of state. We want to just keep the, we want to keep the beer flowing. Okay. We want to keep the people that we think need to have the beer with the beer. Yeah. We're not we're not going and canning a bunch of stuff. We're not going to act like you're going to go crazy with it. We're not going to get crazy. Staying crazy. Authentic. Over there. We're staying but I do authentic. want you to have beer on tap at your house. Absolutely. I would like that too. I'm, I'm okay That's, with that. Yeah. Brost, so that's coming. Brost coffee yeah. infused beer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. Do a keg. We do a keg for you. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it yeah. over. 
Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I'll right. see you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, will offer, I have it on tape. You said. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did it. Well, I'll do it. Sorry. And it's going to be on the internet, so it has to be true. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You could call it yurt. <laughs> yurt. Yurt beer. Yurt, yurt, yurt burr. You are entering redneck territory. <laughs> yeah, you are. Hell yeah. Once, awesome. you, once you finish this keg, man, you're going to be... This beer's a real upper uh, and a downer weird. all at the same time. <laughs> I love it. Y'all oh, wow. Come on me up. All right, okay. so here's the deal. Yeah. We're finishing up. Yes. Uh, we're going to then have this place. Yes. Have this badass place. Yes, of course. There's a restaurant, tap room, brewery, mm. camping site, launching things. And then, here's the kicker. And then... We own this, uh, we own this piece of property also in town, uh, down the river. It is an old water treatment plant, and it has the good it's opportunity like on the, on the in phase four yeah, it's mm-hmm. right up here, of becoming a hotel, a, it. a boutique Stop. hotel. Yep, Stop he didn't it. even hear it, dude. Boutique hotel? Hey, yes, yes. Like I said with boutique your words? hotel. I'm talking about, yes, boutique hotel. <laughs> I did amazing. Boutique hotel. Boutique hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Open it, but you get that. Sounds funny. That's a totally different language, Tom. Sorry, I don't know. Okay, so anyways, uh, yes, yeah, a boutique hotel. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. That no, serves no, but for real. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I mean, of course. Every yeah. room, every I mean, room has a kegerator in it. Oh come on. It's like you get to stay or there and pick your maybe name. that's still that's still uh, jury's <laughs> out. You gotta have the suite <laughs> with the tap board because uh, uh, we want to uh, be in the lounge drinking beer. You see? Sure, 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 sure. What is it gonna feel like this? Yes, like this, absolutely. Dude, it can't not feel like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah. Uh, yeah. If it gets uh, any more... Explode. I mean, we're Explosions. No metropolitan. You'll have to take it out your blood. head and hang up your hat. That's right. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. like mm-hmm. what, what, where did we go wrong? You we ain't got, no city boy. We got fake fireplaces, dude. This is, this <laughs> no. is ridiculous. This is terrible. It's the worst. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Terrible. What's up with that? Fake <laughs> fireplaces. Oh, don't know. Don't Who even? Who even? Okay. It's awesome. If you had one piece of advice that you could go back... Other than don't ever buy a fake fireplace. Other than that. <laughs> okay. So this is one that question can't, can't one that. question we right, ask we, all we, of our guests. Already, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you could go back and tell young Don and young Dave, so you mm-hmm. have to answer for yourselves, you can't answer for each other, obviously. Okay. Uh, one thing, what would you tell yourself? If you go back. A piece of advice. You know what? Let me give you a piece of advice. You do this better than me. It's fine. It's okay. fine. Let me. I mean, I know you guys Please are having your, your bromance, but. Please do it. Yeah, She's gonna nail it. that's you what ready? it is. You ready for this? She's yeah. gonna drop the mic. No, I mean it's basically that. It's but hey, if I could give you, young Dave, Don, young Don, Don, it's Don and Dave, young Don, young Dave, uh, <laughs> young, young one, Ashley. <laughs> Wow. One piece of advice. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> to just make, one? To make your just one to make your life a little bit easier going forward. Mm-hmm. I could pull you aside mm-hmm. and whisper in your ear. What mm-hmm. would you say to yourself? Oh boy, mm. that's a tough one, huh? It's contemplative. Very, here, very, right very tough. Especially because Probably, you kind there's of so me. many things that you oh. can tell yourself. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You you strike me more as the type of I really didn't want to give myself any of that advice. I really liked the way it all kind of played out. And, and you know I what? To watch there is probably truth to that. And I was I, I keep thinking of the trench drain. Mm-hmm. The trench drain. <laughs> trench trench in building the place. Yeah. Put the trench drain in the floor. Don't do the <laughs> drains that are just here and there in the other place. Mm. Do the Save your drain. squeegee. Make the trench drain. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sounds like many hours were spent. Yeah, on still a are. It's a well, drain well educated it's still, situation. It's all, it's all good. It, it really yeah. is all good. It just trench drains are cool. Maybe we've said that we've said that too. to each other a thousand times over the course of this thing. It's like next time we do trench drains. <laughs> next time we do trench. Drains. The first thing <laughs> you're gonna do at your new property over there. There's is trench already drains. a trench drain. Giant. There is. Yeah, right yeah the there. only thing, the only piece that we've added onto the brewery. Well, is it I trench drain? Well, yes, we but it's a room to wash kegs in, and uh, <clears throat> and it's a trench drain. <laughs> See, you're learning, yeah, you're we growing, are. Yeah, developing. Are. Never stop, yeah. never stop. Yeah. All right, Dave. So, I don't know. Trench drains. Never let them see you sweat. <laughs> mm. Oh no, I like sweating. I do too, actually. Who is them? Forget that. Whoever they are. Who are they? Mm. Anybody. The mysterious people. <laughs> All of them. Anybody. Of them. The whole like, batch. I'm ready to sweat. sweat. Well, you know, um, we, when we were off camera oh, yeah. earlier. Um, you know, we were talking and, you know, just about, you know, entrepreneurism and, and life. And and you said, well, what's the worst thing you can do? Fail. Oh, yeah. yeah you mean, know? It's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah. The other thing is it comes down to it. It's like if you love something. And you're not trying. Yeah, it's like, but it's not life or death. There's no. people with real, real yeah, like actual, reasons to cry yeah. out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Whatever. Best you're living. You're doing your thing. Yep. Whatever. Yep. Don't, well, don't and the other thing is, shit. if you do fail, it's like it means your idea wasn't complete enough, and so maybe yeah, you need some mean sort of other good. thing to go right. through and to to push your idea in a different direction. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so therefore, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I mean, yeah, it may take a couple times. 
Yeah. But the thing is, it's like whatever you do, just make sure that you love what you're doing. And if you love what you're doing, then you can kind of always push that energy towards it. Yeah. Yeah. Find what you love and do you won't that. You get mad at it. Yeah. That's good. Well, you may still get mad at it. <laughs> but like in a good way. But you'll still like, like go through it. Like in a motivated way. Yeah. Like in a, I'm okay with being mad at this. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's good stuff. It's freaking Man, awesome. I love this. Can we come back tomorrow? Can we do this next week? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> it's fine. It's on the books. <laughs> We'll get all of our our podcast Just make sure you bring some waterproof here. shoes. Okay. Uh, Got it. Which, which works. The trench train. I would actually love that. Trench train. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trench train. Yeah. I'd nerd out trench on that. Trench train, baby. <laughs> but, you know, I read, I read an article train, thinking about you guys um, and, and, you know, this, this episode and uh, somewhere in, in it, they talk about how beer saved Sparta. And, yeah. and, and, you know, we, we that's, the title of, of book. that's the title of her book. Is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't have written it yet. I, yeah, love book? It. I was going to say, wait, I love what's, it. what's the title of your book? The, we, the, we didn't end, include that piece of the story. Okay. The, how beer saved Sparta. How okay. beer saved Sparta. But really and truly. They called me in high school. <laughs> Start off. <laughs> <laughs> how just where the whole community has come, you know, since, oh, sure. you know, 2001. It's pretty cool. Uh, just the way that the whole. Uh, again, like I had talked about before, the, the rallying of the troops. Yeah. And, you know, I think as as locals, as Upper Cumberland folk, yeah. you know, we sort of feel vested, yeah. you know, in your success and, and love what, what you guys have brought to, follow, to the community. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. It is. It's it's fun to feel a part of it. Yeah. It's fun to be able to support it. Yep. And, and you guys make it, you know, super fun. I know first time I met you guys was, I don't know, with some kind of function of some sort, you right. know, where you had your tabs out there and, and you feel like you're BFFs, yeah, you know, like by the end, by the third cup, you're just like, I mean, you love everyone. It's like, great. Hey. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, feel like, I feel like that's a little bit uh, in Calf Killer beer, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I think that there's a little bit of that, uh, cause you can't feel, I mean, you don't drink Calf Killer beer and go, I feel like shit. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm not doing no, this. No, that's never happened. No, you know? no dude. I no, mean, it's, it's like, like it's fun. Uh, it should be yes. fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, absolutely. You know, I, I guess the intention is that it's great beer that you can have a good time too. Yeah. yeah I think that's what we've always wanted yeah. to do as far as that goes. Allow people to have a great time around the beverage because mm-hmm. really, beer is about bringing people together. And yeah. beer is about having a good time. It's yeah. not about being unsafe or stupid or whatever yeah. but right, I mean, maybe yeah. about all those things at some point but yeah. it's about having a good time yeah mm-hmm. don't go and dying but like you know, <laughs> right right go dying on don't you go dying on, go on, dying on but me, i love man. that your personalities it's like almost yeah. infused into the beverage it you is. know that you serve and, and that's a, that's a super cool yep. crazy thing to wrap it's your head around idea. but it is yeah. like absolutely you know what happens so thank you guys for yeah, just yeah, coming and welcome. telling us your well not coming we came to you and just telling your story and and encouraging people you know to, to chase after their dreams yeah. and 130 locations later you just never know what might happen so and, huh. and thank you for what you're doing for the upper cumberland yeah. for yeah, sparta for and for, yeah. for our whole region wouldn't want to awesome. be anywhere else yeah. yeah thanks for listening to the connecting cookville podcast make sure that you jump online and check us out at connectingcookville.com or you can find us on facebook also make sure that you jump on itunes or stitcher And subscribe to get all of this awesomeness every single week. And while you're there, make sure that you leave us a six-star review. Zach, that's not actually a thing. Your face is not a thing. (laughs) But seriously, leave us a good review. Thanks, Mom. It's our desire that this podcast will impact you to connect with your community. By sharing our stories, we encourage, empower, and propel those around us. Embrace your purpose, pursue your passion, and find your place to connect with Cookville. Later, Tater. Peace out, Girl Scout. (laughs) (laughs) We're recording. It's fine.